Hey everyone, welcome to another video lesson from navigationtrading.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about what to do if you get assigned stock. So this morning, we woke up and we got an email from our broker, uh, TD Ameritrade, and it let us know that we had been assigned on our DIA position. So what happened and what do we need to do? What happened was we had a short call vertical spread on. So we were short three options uh, at the 255 call and we were long three options at the 260 call. Now, today is April expiration, okay? So there is a high likelihood that we had our in the money calls were gonna get assigned and sure enough, it did happen. Now, is this a huge issue? No. Does it change our overall risk in the trade? No. So the only thing that we need to do is just address the trade. Now there's a couple options. So we got we got assigned our short call, okay? It's zeroed out now because we got assigned, so the options are no longer there. And what that does is that turns it into 300 shares of short DIA stock, okay? So now we have... 300 short shares of DIA. So obviously if it goes down, that would benefit us. And, and so it's the same risk profile as before. So if we click on the shares, we've got 300 short shares. So there's a couple things we can do. If we wanted to keep those short shares, we could certainly do that. And we could sell puts against it to kind of reduce cost basis. Uh, but we weren't in this trade to get assigned. We weren't in this trade to be trading actual shares of stock. We had an option spread that we were looking to benefit from a down move. So, and being that it's expiration day, all we're looking to do is close this out. So we've got 300 shares and all you have to do is right click on that, create closing order. You're going to buy back the 300 shares and we'll be out of the trade. Now, the other question is, what do we do with the long shares? And, and don't pay attention to these last four. This is an iron condor that's out in May, so that's not what we're dealing with here. We're just dealing with the April position. So the other piece is we have this, we have three long calls, and so what do we do with that? Well, we're just gonna close that out as well. I mean, as you can see, we've made money on this part of the trade. We're actually down overall on the trade overall, but we're up on this, so you could do a couple things. I mean, if, if you thought price was gonna continue higher, you could obviously hold this and just let it expire worthless. Or in this case, we're just gonna close it out as well. So that's all there is to it. We don't like to get assigned, but we definitely knew going into holding this position all the way to expiration day that that was certainly uh, something that could happen. But it's, it's really not that big of a deal. And in fact, this is the first time that we've gotten assigned on a position in our alerts portfolio in two years. So, uh, you know, we took that risk going into expiration, but I, I'm actually kind of glad that it happened because I want to show everybody how insignificant of a deal it really is. And if it happens, all you got to do is close it out and move on and you're done with the trade. So I hope that helps. We'll talk to you in the next video.